Welcome back to our channel. This week we lose our dogs, decorate for Christmas, and make mulled wine in the walled garden in the rain. Good times. Looks like a big teddy bear today. Enjoy that. They have a big branch on top of their roof. Aww. That scared them. Sorry. Some of the uh, tiles broke off. The slate. Just now? No, I think the... Um, branch did it? Yeah, the branch hit the tiles. Little spiky ones. Yeah, that's a shame. Go back in your house, it's yeah, okay. I think it's concrete, so it's, uh, they're just cosmetic. Okay, it's raining. Since we've been so busy, there hasn't been time for Christmas festivities, but I thought I'd liven things up by making some mulled wine in the garden. The weather forecast called for clear skies. I had a nice fire started and now the rain has come. Right, Enzo? You're getting wet, you wanna go in? I see blue skies over there. What the heck? Yeah, it's a pretty big cloud though. This isn't supposed to be happening. It's sort of coming this way. I it? know, my fire. <laughs> How do I keep it alive? Is it possible? I think it can be saved. So. I'm gonna have mulled wine no matter what. Smoked wine. <laughs> <laughs> We've created something new. Whose idea was this? Enzo's going for cover. Smart dog. According to the forecast, the rain will stop in four minutes. Seems about right, considering the direction of the clouds, so I might have mulled wine after all.
You want to try some? Yes. Okay. Twist my arm. <laughs> you want Cointreau in yours? A little bit? You, Here. Do you recommend it? Yeah, it adds a little bit of an orange flavor, so. Okay. Just a, a splash. Smells good. This will get you good and happy when you're making your fire downstairs. And of course we had to roast some marshmallows for the kids. The tree sits a bit crooked in the stand, so we're going to lie it on its side and hopefully Lincoln can bang it into place. So this is how Christmas trees come in France. This is in the bouche. Bouche de Noël. The bouche de Noël. So, you know, normally we put the trees in some water, but we're not going to do that this year. This tree is so fresh. We're not going to keep it up for an extended period of time, right? No, maybe two weeks. <laughs> two weeks, that's not even Christmas. <laughs> okay. We've been to Paris in Christmas and literally- You see trees out like- You, you see trees out- After. <laughs> Chris, no, you see trees out sometimes Christmas Eve, which is really strange. Okay, Christmas is over. Yeah, then do that because I don't want the ceiling disturbed. Okay. So who do you predict will be the first cat up the tree? Pickle. Pickle. Although Waffle, nah, Waffle. No, Waffle likes too, ladders. She's too lazy for that. <laughs> Pickle. This is not acceptable. All right, somehow you're gonna have to get him out of there, Lincoln. Okay. Cause this is gonna be a disaster. 
Oh. He's holding on for dear life. I think uh, Fluffy's a good second. Fluffy's attempts to wreak havoc on the Christmas village were unsuccessful. She has yet to climb the tree. <laughs> These smell so good. Last year, I made Christmas wreaths. I don't have time for that this year. I'm busy. But I do have time to do some holiday hair for my friend here, George Michael. That's what I've named this bust. That's good. Perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Is that the Last year we had a slight problem in which our holiday lights blew up. I went to get new ones and these icicle lights were all that was left on the shelves. Oh no. That looks horrible. <laughs> we need to change the setting. Okay, that looks... I guess they're dripping. That looks awful. Do they do a normal setting where they're just... Yeah, they you just... They're playing... Of course, it's raining again. So we determined we... We just can't live with these. Yeah, they're a little... Uh... What did you say before? You said we'll be okay as long as in no planes try to land. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. Uh, yeah, so we are going to remove these and put normal lights up. I happen to have an extra roll of these. I just came out to check the lights and they're on the wrong setting. <laughs> I'll have to tell Lincoln. They're doing that weird thing where they go, it's like, oh yeah, I'm nice and bright. And then, oh, I'm going to sleep. And surprise. Do you know how many pictures I have of you under a Christmas tree? How many? A lot.
so the tree is finally lit after two days of struggle. Um, I'm still drying out from, from being outside before. So the question is, do we decorate the tree? We had an incident about two years ago in which one of the cats, I'm not sure who it was, knocked our tree completely over and I lost a bunch of ornaments that were quite sentimental and I've collected for many years. So that was a bummer. So I'm thinking maybe I can put some ornaments that aren't breakable on here. And if the tree does fall over, that's fine. Um, I don't think the tree will fall over because it's really big and it's quite secure and the perpetrator is tiny. So this year's ornaments are going to be simple pine cones because if they break, who cares? And then I have these snowflakes that I've been collecting for years, which I love and they look pretty. I have silver ones and black ones and some are made out of wood and they're a little sparkly, which I love. So this is going to be it. Super simple tree. So here is our Christmas tree 2023, and I think collectively as a family, we've decided this is the best tree we've ever had. It's just really pretty, even though we didn't uh, put any ornaments on really. <laughs> That's okay. I kind of like the natural pine cone look. This morning while Lincoln was flying the drone, the dogs decided to run off. If you happen to turn your back for more than a minute, there's a very slight chance they might do this. This hasn't happened in over a year, and air tags have been ordered by the way. I texted neighbors to keep an eye out, and we walked, and we drove, and I was planning dog funerals. I know, I can be dramatic. Guava came home without Enzo over two hours later. We were really worried about Enzo, of course, because he only has three legs. Where were you? 
This is where we found him, right? Sitting up the road. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you have something to say, leave us a comment.